As you can see, I have 5M working in 2024. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install 5M so you could already start role playing in GTA 5 in 2024. Let's get started with this tutorial. The first step for downloading and installing 5M is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, a written guide on how to download and install 5M. Now, feel free to read through this guide, look at the screenshots, and if that helps you, hey, that's great. But I know most of you just want to follow along the video. So if you don't want to read and do all of that, all you have to do is just scroll down and click where it says download 5M. That will redirect you to the 5M official website, where all you have to do now is click where it says download client. That will bring you over here, where you can read through the agreements, and we all know you're going to skip this part. So all you have to do is click where it says sure, I agree, and I'm actually gonna move my camera a little bit so you guys could see it right there. So where it says sure, I agree, just go ahead and click on that, and that will start the download automatically. Like you can see here, it's asking me where to save it, but for you guys, it's going to download right away. So once you downloaded your file, I want you to go ahead and drag and drop that file to your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find that file here in your recent download history. If you're using any other browser, well, it's your browser. I know you'll figure it out, but you also could always find this file within your downloads folder in your computer. Go ahead and drag and drop the 5M installation file and you can minimize the browser. Now, don't close this video because you want to know how to finish this. So yeah, just keep watching. All you have to do now to install 5M is simply double click on this 5M.exe file, which will open the 5M installer, give it a second. As you can see, it now says updating 5M, downloading some files, and that is the way it's gonna be for most of you as well. You just give it a second, and after a couple seconds, 5M is going to ask you to find your installation folder for GTA 5. Now, don't worry if you don't know where your installation folder is, because I'm gonna show you some ways to figure out where you install this game. No matter if you install the game through Steam, Epic Games, or just through the Rockstar Launcher, I'm going to show you the ways of finding out where the game is. And also in the first comment down below, I'm going to leave the most common locations for the default installation of GTA 5, depending on where you got the game from. So if you got it through Steam, I'm going to leave the default locations. Same for Epic Games and the Rockstar Launcher. Anyways, let's say, for example, that you got the game through Epic Games, like I did. All you have to do then, it's launch Epic Games, where it says library, head over to library, and where it says search, just look for GTA 5 in here. I'm gonna put GTA in here and then GTA is gonna come up, right? And once the game comes up, if you already have it in the library, go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to select the game here by itself, right? And this is because I have a big library with lots of games. That's why I search for it. But if you already have it here in the library, you don't gotta search for it. All you have to do is click on these little three dots, click on manage, and then click on this little folder that appears right here to the uninstall button. Don't uninstall it, just click on the folder. And that is going to give you the location of your GTA 5. As you can see right here on this string of text right here, if you click in the empty space right next to it, you select the whole text. And that is the location of your GTA 5 through Epic Games. So all you have to do now is select that and press Ctrl C to copy it, close this, you could close the Epic Game Launcher now and you could paste that in here in the 5M directory. Click on the empty space again right here and then Control V to paste it and press enter. And that is going to find the location of the game for you. Now, if you found the location of GTA, all you have to do now is click GTA5.exe and click open. Now, if you have the game through Steam instead, all you have to do is launch a Steam, find your GTA 5 in here, which I don't have it through Steam, but let's act like this is GTA 5. Head over to the game, click on it, click on the manage button right here on the right side go to properties and then right here in properties, go to install files. And in here you will click on browse and that will redirect you. Once you click on browse, it just opened down here. It will redirect you to that folder where we have the GTA 5 installation file. All you have to do again, click on this empty space, copy that. Then once you copy that, you come back here to 5M, you paste it right here on the top and then you press enter and you will be presented with this page in here with this folder where we're going to select GTA5.exe. If you install the game through Rockstar, I'm gonna leave in the first pinned comment the most common locations for the installations of GTA 5, so you don't have to struggle. Anyways, once you found your installation for GTA 5, all you have to do is select the GTA5.exe file and click on open. Give it a second here because 5M is going to start verifying the game content. And while 5M is verifying the game content, I wanna let you guys know that if you want to start a 5M server so you could have your own role play server. I'm going to leave this first link in the description for Zap Hosting. This is an affiliate link. So if you do use it, you'll be supporting the channel. But the reason I'm recommending Zap Hosting is because they make the process super simple for creating a 5M server. And because I have used Zap Hosting in the past and I know they work properly. So I'm going to leave that first link in the description and let's check back with 5M. And as we can see, 5M is now asking me to update the local game data. And once you get this prompt, you just have to click on yes, and then just keep waiting for 5M to update, to install, to get everything working so we could finally go ahead and role play. While this is happening, I want to thank you guys 
because last year I posted a guide on how to solve 5M and that was my most watched video of the year with that video being close to half a million views. Now, while you're installing 5M, you might get a little administrator prompt. All you have to do is click yes, that you agree. And as you can see, it's gonna have you sign in with your Rockstar account. All you have to do in here is sign in with your Rockstar account. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And once you sign in with your GTA account, it's just gonna start loading again. Like you can see in here, it says starting 5M and then 5M should just open just like that. All you have to do is log in. If you don't remember your logins, well, that's your own fault, kind of. I'm not gonna lie in there. You gotta, you gotta keep your logins safe somewhere. And now we just gotta wait for 5M to start. And there we go, 5M just launched. Now you have to click I accept. Again, you could read through the terms and agreements, but we're gonna skip that. Just click I accept and wait for 5M to load in here. Now it might ask you to log in here with CFX. I have never logged in through CFX in my life. I always click cancel and don't ask again. But if you want to log in through CFX, be my guest and do it so you could have an account that you could carry over in case you delete 5M one day and then you reinstall it. But I'm going to click cancel and don't ask again. And once you have 5M open, if you want to join a server, all you have to do now is click on play. And in here, once you try joining a server, first of all, you might need Discord because most of the servers need you to have a Discord account. And also because some of you have asked me in the past that whenever you try to join a server, the firewall pops up while well, 5M is completely safe and you have to click allowed on the firewall if you want this game to connect to the internet and you want to be able to join the servers. So don't be afraid if you get that firewall pop up, all you have to do is click allow and you're good, you're set and you can play. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. Now guys, before you all go, I really want to thank you all because as you can see, my video on how to solve 5M last year got 473,000 views, which is insane. And it really helped me boost this channel. We reached 10,000 subscribers and that is all due to you. And it's this video right here, not this one right here that as you can see, this guy literally just copied my thumbnail. It's literally the same thumbnail I made. I put like an hour of work onto this thumbnail and then this guy just comes and steals my idea, steals my file and just puts a different number on it, which is funny, I guess. But yeah, really want to thank you all because you really pushed this channel really helped me get to 10,000 subscribers and that is all because of you guys so really really thank you and also and also I'm going to leave you this guide in the description on how to download and install Reshade for GTA 5. In case some of you want to play GTA 5 using shaders, Reshade is totally allowed to be used on roleplay on 5M so you will be able to install this with 5M and your GTA 5 will look a little bit better. This is just a little bonus in there. This is free to install. It's super super simple. I'm going to leave that guide in the description and let me know if you would like me to make a video on how to install Reshade on 5M specifically so you could roleplay using shaders and you know have a much much better experience. This really improves your game and if you scroll down you will also see other guides that I have here for GTA 5 specifically like installing Natural Vision Evolve and multiple other things like Visual V all to improve your game and to improve your quality when playing. But, but yeah that was it for me guys just really wanted to thank you all for supporting the channel I'm taking it to the point where it is right now and yeah just have a great year I'll try to push as much GTA 5 content as I can for you guys. I do unboxing, I do tutorial for other games, but I'm still gonna try and push out as much GTA content as I can. Now, that has been everything from me, and as always, bye-bye.